In today's dynamic business environment, the call for efficiency echoes louder than ever before. As manufacturers strive to meet consumer demands, the gap between desire and delivery becomes apparent. So how can we bridge this gap? Imagine having a singular solution that adapts to every industry's unique need, be it food, electronics, apparel, or even heavy machinery. The universality of SAP Business One ensures it fits like a glove, irrespective of your niche. The production model in SAP Business One is a valuable tool for companies involved in manufacturing of finished goods. It offers a range of features designed to support day-to-day -day manufacturing operations. So let's dive right in and see it in action. When you open SAP Business One, you will quickly notice a convenient cockpit that provides easy access to common function used by production professionals. The cockpit isn't just a dashboard, it's a personalized workspace tailored to meet the needs of every unique user, providing you with all the tools and information you need at a glance, whether it's widgets, KPIs, or drill down functionality. You can quickly navigate to the production dashboard to get quick glance over production orders and important reports. You can also perform tasks like receipt from production, issuing products against production, and much more without using the menu. Let's move on to the core of the production process, the bill of material. Every product that we see or touch from the simplest household item to the most complex machinery is the result of bringing together numerous components. The list of raw materials, parts, assemblies, and their quantities is encapsulated in what we call a bill of material. Now, not all bill of materials are created equal. SAP Business One recognizes the need for versatility and offers four different types of bill of materials tailored to specific business needs. The first one is a sales bomb. Think of it as a product kit where individual items are grouped together for sale but aren't assembled. A classic example, a gift basket or a pizza set. The second one is an assembly bomb, which is a bit special. It's a collection of items bundled at a specific price. While it may be similar to a sales bomb, there is a twist. The final product isn't treated as inventory. It's a sales item when it showed up in the assembly bomb. Only the finished main product is visible and not the individual components like in the sales bomb. The third bomb is a template one, which is like a flexible list. It can be used for buying or selling. You have a main item at the top and other items below it. And the best part, you can change the items and the quantities anytime you want. The last and the most important is the production bomb, the heart of manufacturing. This bill of material provides a detailed roadmap for producing finished product. It encompasses all material subassemblies and processes, ensuring that the production line runs smoothly, efficiently, and without interruptions. But the bill of material isn't just about components and materials. In SAP Business One, the bombs are enriched with additional information, which is resources and route stages. In the resources row, you can see information that was set in the resources master data, including what machines or labor are used for creating a specific bill of material. The resource master data provides a detailed view of the labor and machinery needed, cost, scheduling, and capacity. It's a comprehensive look at the non-material assets you'll need during production. Now, production isn't always linear. The route stage allows you to define the sequence of operations and set the stages of production and allocate resources to specific steps. It's the roadmap of your manufacturing journey, ensuring that every stage is optimized for time, cost, and quality. And if there is a need for a pause between stages, you can define waiting days and the system will smartly calculate each stage start and end dates. For this demo, we'll focus on production bombs. When you're ready to initiate production, SAP Business One ensures you're equipped with your resources, materials, and route stages in place, and creating a production order becomes straightforward. SAP Business One offers three distinct ways to create these production orders, ensuring flexibility and precision tailored to your needs. The first one is ad hoc production order creation. There might be a situation when you need to create a production order from scratch, regardless of a specific demand. Therefore, SAP Business One lets you create ad hoc production orders where you can manually add the finished product you'd like to produce and set the material quantities and resources as needed. The second way to create a production order is by using the MRP wizard. 
the MRP checks for supply, demand, and stock levels, and based on this provides smart recommendation on what to order from your supplier and what production order needs to be created. The third way is to create a production order from a sales order. Imagine a scenario where a customer orders a specific product that needs to be produced. SAP Business One allows you to directly convert a sales order into a production order. The direct link streamlines the process, minimizes manual interventions, and reduces the chances of input error. Let's go on and create a production order from the sales order we just created. First, you can see that all the components of the bill of materials are automatically added with their respective quantities. You can, of course, adjust, add, or remove any row if needed. You can also see the start and the end date for each stage, which is derived from the due date of the production order. If needed, you can amend this schedule in the routing date calculation field. This field determines how the automatic allocation of resources will occur. Now, every production order goes through various stages, each representing a phase in its life cycle. Beginning with a plan status, an order signifies it's in the initial stages of formulation, where resources and schedules might still be in flux as you finalize the details. You can of course amend that if you wish and if required. This status can be transitioned to released, signaling that this production order is ready for execution. Once a production order is set into motion, the next step is to issue these materials to production. This process ensures that each production order gets the required resources optimizing efficiency and minimizing wastage. Now, there are different approaches to material issuance in a production environment. Some organizations prefer a backflash system where the material used in production are automatically deducted from inventory as finished goods are produced. However, it's impossible to backflash items managed with serials or batch numbers. They are bound to a manual issue method as you must identify the serial number or batches to release from inventory. Other might lean towards a more hands-on manual issuance. You can choose to issue materials for each stage separately or all stages together. The operator needs to specify how much was used for each component during the production order. SAP Business One accommodates both preferences, allowing you to choose the methodology that aligns with your production needs. When you issue for production, a journal entry is created for the planned cost of the components of the bill of material. SAP Business One temporarily transfers this cost into a work-in-progress GL account. The amount in the product order summary tab is temporarily placed in the total variance field as no finished goods have been received from production yet. Once the production process is finished by doing a receipt from production, you can report the completion of production and the creation of the finished goods. You can assign a serial number or a batch number for the finished good, which is especially important for businesses that require complex tracking of products, be it for quality control, warranty purposes, or regulatory compliance. The system facilitates easy assignment, tracking, and recall of these numbers. In production, it's not uncommon to encounter discrepancies between planned costs and actual costs. These variances need to be accounted for to ensure accurate financial reporting. With SAP Business One, variance postings to the general ledger are streamlined, whether it's due to material cost variations, labor rate changes, or other unforeseen circumstances. These differences are automatically captured, ensuring a transparent and accurate financial statement. Another important tool of SAP Business One is the relationship map, which can be viewed from any document. This tool visually represents the flow of documents we have involved in creating this finished good from the sales order to the production order completion. By analyzing this map, users can gain insight into dependencies, bottlenecks, opportunities for optimization, and much more. To wrap up, SAP Business One platform offers an all-encompassing platform that covers every facet of production, from the initial bill of materials to the final evaluation of production orders. With features like the MRP wizard, production order automation, and relationship mapping, businesses can optimize their processes, reduce manual errors, and increase their production throughput. 
The integrated nature of SAP Business One means that financial data is always aligned with production matrix. And finally, with detailed insights into labor, machinery, and other resources, organization can make data-driven decisions to maximize ROI on every resource. If you're ready to leverage these benefits and drive excellence into your production processes, now is the time to take action. Join the community of leading manufacturers who trust SAP Business One for their production needs.